If you are an administrator, follow these steps to set up and manage attendance in your organization. In this video, we'll go through steps 1 and 2. Let's go! In the Lark desktop app, click your profile photo and go to the Lark admin console. In Workplace, App Management, find and click the Attendance app. All members can use the Attendance app by default. If you only want some members to use it, click Configuration, then change the scope. If you go back to the app page, you can click App Admin Console to enter Attendance Admin. After entering Attendance Admin, you can save the URL to access it directly next time. Here, you can set attendance rules, view attendance data, manage leave and overtime, and set attendance administrators. Now, let's learn how to set attendance rules by creating a new attendance group. The setup has four sections, basic info, shift, attendance method, and attendance settings. Section 1 is filling in the basic info. Enter the name of the attendance group and of the owner. Select the departments and members who will be in this group. Then set the time zone the group will follow. Section 2 is setting the shift. There are three attendance types to choose from, fixed shift, scheduled shift, and free shift. Fixed shift means the shift starts and ends at fixed times. Scheduled shift means there are multiple shifts with different start and end times. Free shift means employees are free to clock in or out at any time during the attendance period. For fixed shift, the default workday starts at 9 a.m. and ends at 6 p.m. You can click change to select or create other shifts. When creating a new shift, you can set a maximum of three start and end times for a day. Newly created shifts will be added to the shift settings section in attendance admin. You can also set up shifts in advance on this page. Next check the working days. Select whether you want automatic scheduling based on holidays or special days. After doing this, you've now set up a fixed shift. For scheduled shift, after setting up the other rules you can click confirm to start the scheduling. For free shift, you need to set the allowed time range for clocking in or out, the working days, and the no record rule. Remember that after you've created an attendance group, you won't be able to change the attendance type. Once we've finished setting up our attendance shift, we can go to section 3, setting the attendance method for this group. There are two attendance methods to choose from, clock in and out by GPS or clock in and out by Wi-Fi. If you select clock in or out by GPS, members must arrive at a specified location before they can clock in or out. If you select clock in or out using Wi-Fi, members need to connect to a specified Wi-Fi network before they can clock in or out. If you choose clock in or out by GPS, click at attendance location and enter your location. Select the range, click next, and enter a name for the location. You can also add multiple locations or choose to batch import them. If you choose clock in or out by Wi-Fi, enter the Wi-Fi name and MAC address. You can set more than one attendance method at the same time. This allows members to choose which method they would like to use to clock in or out. In Section 4, Attendance Settings, you can set other rules for the attendance group. For example, when members need to work from home or another location, you can turn on Allow to clock in or out offsite. You can also set whether to allow clock in or out corrections and set a limit to the number of corrections that can be made. You've now successfully created an attendance group. Click confirm and members will be able to clock in or out according to the rules you've set. In the next episode, we'll learn how to view attendance data and set attendance administrators.